Hello, Capricorn. Rambling Mike here. Gonna play a little tarot with you today. Thanks for tuning in one more time, my friends. I appreciate your time. Appreciate you reaching out, hitting that old like button while you're thinking about it. Thank you very much for that. And that old subscription button down there, big and bright and red. Thanks for reaching out and touching that thing. Turn it into that beautiful mellow gray. Thanks for that. <laughs> I definitely want to thank all my Capricorn friends that have reached out and uh, blessed me with donations. Many of them. I, I'm, I'm kind of, I got an Ace of Cups right there. Um, kind of throws me when I see something like that because I, I, I feel there's new, new, new coming in for Capricorn, but I had to let something go. Hmm. Anyway. I want to thank all my Capricorns that have blessed me with donations. Many of you, very kind of you. Appreciate them all, large or small. Capricorn, if you bless me with a donation, thank you. And of course, big shout out and thank you to all my Ramblin' Nation members. Mwah, I love you guys. Thank you for all your continued support month after month, sponsoring all these free reads for the collective. Thank you so very much for that. I want to take a minute right here and talk about Wednesday nights, 5 p.m. Eastern Time, every Wednesday night. I do a live feed for my members of Ramblin' Nation, uh, weekly readings. And uh, I like to bring a lot of gifts to the party. I got some uh, Ramblin', uh, Ramblin' Mike tarot t-shirts, a little cartoon Mike right there. It's kind of cool. I also got, uh, what's this? Winter, winter chicken dinner, ooey gooey soft and chewy t-shirts. I give away four t-shirts every Wednesday night to my members. That's 16 t-shirts a month. We are busy. Uh, they know us by name at the post office anymore. Also on Wednesday nights, I like to give away Oracle and Tarot decks. Give away two every Wednesday night. That's eight a month. On the, let me check right here, Wednesday the 19th, 5 p.m. Eastern Time, going to be giving away modern spellcasters. I love this deck right here. It comes in the big, beautiful magnet box. It's got that big, beautiful book in it. And, of course, I always trim all my decks down so they fit better into our hands right here. Uh, let's, uh, let's pull a card right here from the modern spellcasters. Modern Spellcasters, what do you got to say to Capricorn? Thank you very much. Well, I got two of wands. Yeah, maybe making a decision right there, huh? Look at that. Uh, I, you know, I always see the little bird in this deck as Source talking to him, you know? Interesting. Also, on the 19th of August, I'm going to give away this amazing Oracle deck right here. Uh, Madame Endora's fortune cards. I love this. I love this Oracle deck. It's an amazing one. And again, I have modified it. I cut it down, fit the hands a little better. Let's see what the Madam has to say for Capricorn. What do you got? What do you got to say for Capricorn right here? Look at this. The Caduceus. You will receive news from afar. Look at that. Wow, got that old healing caduceus on it right there. Beautiful stuff, man. All right, on the 26th of August, because we do this every Wednesday night, going to be giving away the Tarot of the Hidden Realms, a beautiful Fae Tarot, uh, Barbara Moore, she's connected with us, you know, the Queen of Tarot. Yeah, uh, amazing book, an amazing deck. Again, I've, I've modified it. I brought it down a little bit in size. Let's uh let's pull let's pull something out of here for Capricorn. Hidden realms. What do you got for Capricorn right here? Thank you. The King of Pentacles. <laughs> you know. Uh that's the catch right there. That's the catch, you know. That's the one that you would marry, or <laughs> I don't know. I love this deck right here. With the big beautiful faces on them, you can see all their emotions. King of Pentacles came out also on the 26th. I'm going to be giving away 
the Dark Fairy Tale Tarot. This is a Los Cabero deck. I love Los Cabero. Uh, they got amazing decks and many, many to choose from. Uh, again, I've, I've cut this down a little bit. Uh, make it a little smaller for the hand. And Dark Fairy Tale, what do you got for Capricorn right here? Thank you. Uh, the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands. Some kind of passion and new beginning coming in here. You know, making a decision. Two of Wands is about pressing through that, pressing through that little wall right there. I see him talking to a little bird. If you've been thinking about joining Ramblin' Nation, come play with us on Wednesday nights. I would love to play cards with you every week. Go ahead and hit that join button. I'll see you Wednesday night. All right, Capricorn. Let's do a full spread right here, huh? A little look-see at love. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. You know, I, I like to uh, ask Source to put these out from a first-person's perspective. Who's ever maybe looking at these, Capricorn, or anybody just looking at this video right here. But, you know... Let's fire up our intuition, our psychic abilities, all those gifts that we all have, because these can play out vice versa. And you know if you see yourself in this reading, or you know if you see your friend in this reading right here. Let's tune in. Hey, Terry Love Team, Capricorn's here to play with us today. Let's tell them what they need to know most for their highest good. I want to thank you for clarity and accuracy on my part. Help me see, help me speak what I need. Help Capricorn see and hear what they need out of this reading today. Let's take all these amazing pictures. Put together a nice, clear, accurate story for Capricorn's highest good. Thank you so very much for that love team. I cannot do this without you. Appreciate you, my guides. Here we go, Capricorn. Cut in the deck. You know, if you turn that old subscription button nice and gray a while back, you know I'm going to give you a nice full read. Here we go, Capricorn. First card out is Seven of Wands. There it is right there. Fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is my hero's card. This is someone that's decided to stand up and do what's best for them. They've chosen the path that they're going to go down. They don't care who likes it or who don't like it. Uh, you know, we got all these pokey stick people down here, huh, Capricorn? Uh, if you choose to go down to get this Ace of Wands right here, this passionate new beginning, I don't know, maybe with the old King of Pentacles right over here. You know, they could be at a distance from you as well. Uh, if you if you decide to listen to that little sparrow talking to my friend right there, it may, it may not make a lot of people real happy. We got some pokey stick people down here, you know. But um, this is a, this is about doing what's best for you. Doing what's best for you, Capricorn. Let's see what crosses over top of this. Yeah, the lover, <laughs> the lover coming in right here. This Capricorn, this is the one that makes your heart go boom, da -de boom, da -de boom, 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 right there. It's water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, you know. Mm, I think it's Capricorn, you know, reaching out. Um, Hi, here's my cup. But either way, somebody's coming in. Maybe it is this water sign coming in from my Capricorn. Hi, Capricorn. Here's here's my cup. And then the old waterfall right there, you know. Go whoosh. Oh, 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 all the emotions coming prancing out. Ooh, the old lover right there. Is that is that my Capricorn? Deciding to stand up and do what's best for you. I'm gonna go take your cup in a new direction to the catch. Let's see it, here we go, got a lot of cards coming out. Six of Swords at the base of the spread. Six of Swords is about movement, mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually. Six of Swords is about coming out of choppy waters with somebody. That's what all these cards are talking about that they uh, crown this spread from these amazing decks we're giving away on Wednesday night. Six of Swords, you know, may have learned a lot of life lessons. Hmm, wherever, wherever we've been at. At Source, I always see Source as the oarsman right there, you know. Taking them over to Paradise Island over there. What's on Paradise Island? 
Well, the lover, the one to make your heart go boom, da boom, da boom, boom, boom. A passionate new beginning, quite possibly. The healing, you know. I love it. Six of swords, some kind of movement right here. Coming out of choppy waters, coming out of challenging times. <laughs> uh, nine cups coming out. Uh, it could very well be your friend that you're uh, considering um, uh, getting in the boat and going to the other side. Could very well be how they'd be thinking about their Capricorn. It is that water energy. It's that lover right there. You know, that's wish fulfillment, nine cups. Bells ringing. You ring their bells, Capricorn. You know, that this old waterfall, it's a two-way street right here. I may not make some people real happy when I picked that up, but I saw that seven of wands, you know. May not make somebody real happy that Capricorn uh, wants to get in the boat and move in a new direction. Oh, well, it is what it is, huh, Capricorn? But it's going to make somebody very happy over here, probably this lover, man. Look at this. That's nine, and the lover has the tenth cup in their hand. Very nice. Got a lot of cards. Let's see where this goes, Capricorn. I'm loving it so far. Yep, yeah, five of, five of... Five of Cups, crowning the spread, the old river of tears. Didn't get a whole lot of views on my last Capricorn spread. I titled it, you know, should I stay or should I go? I don't know. But uh, we got, you know, the three spilled cups right there. Looks like somebody spilled my Capricorn's cups. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The old river of tears. But you know, the beautiful thing about five of cups is the two cups that are behind them right there. That's the true love in the tarot. It's supposed to turn around and pick up those two cups. Go over that bridge over troubled water right there. Back up to that high vibration castle right there. Yeah, no. Where all these bells are ringing up there. Yeah, beautiful stuff, man. Looks like Capricorn's leaving the River of Tears. Here it is right here. Six swords uh, pulling up anchor and leaving the old River of Tears right there. Not going to make somebody very happy, but you know what? This is your life, Capricorn. And that's what Seven of Wands is about. You doing what's best for you. Healthy selfishness, you know. You can't stand there and play with somebody that's going to continuously spill the cups. Those are three cups. I'm not going to go into it too much, but, you know. There's a reason why the River of Tears is there with three cups spilled. All right, here we go. Well, well there we go. Um, it's the Knight of Wands. That's the great adventurer in the tarot, you know. And uh, he's going to go and uh, take a look and see uh, what's going on. The great adventurer right there. Can talk about potential relocation of residency. I'm saying that because Six of Swords is right here. And not going to be standing at the River of Tears. Going to, going to go on a little journey right here over that bridge over troubled water. Back up to a, a high vibration castle. Going to do what's best for you. Could be my Capricorn getting on their little fire pony right there. And heading in a whole new direction. You know, where the bells are ringing. Paradise Island right here. We got a lot of cards coming out. I'm going to see what that fire pony's about, but I think it's my Capricorn making a move because that's the great adventure. It can talk about relocation of residency. It can also talk about new career opportunities coming in here for many of my Capricorns. Here we go. Two of wands. There it is. Doubled up with two wands right here. Probably the energy of where my Capricorn is right now. You know, I'm looking at uh, that wand right there. Got that world up there on it. Want to go to a whole new world. But there's that other wand right over there that he is letting go of. Huh, Capricorn? There's a Capricorn letting go of something around here. Somebody just keeps spilling the damn cups. Enough. 
Capricorn probably know where this two cups is at. Hmm? Capricorn probably knows who, 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 who rings, who's ringing the bells, man. The lover right there. The one to make your heart go boom, da -da boom, da -da boom, boom, boom. Is that who? Is that who? You know, because I got Source right there talking to him. You know? You know, it's that little wall, though, with two, two of wands. So it's about pressing through. Pressing through that little wall. Or jumping over that little wall. But it's definitely about going and getting a whole new world for you, Capricorn. Here we go. Four cups. Four cups. The old reevaluation card, you know, five cups, four cups. Sitting there under the old oak tree, looking at love, past, present, projected future. Is this the little wall? Is this the little wall? You know, this is about emotional, you know. The old golden cup, there it is. It's floating around right behind my character in this card. The golden cup. The Ace of Cups. And this is about reevaluating. Right here, Two of Wands. Many of my Capricorns are still reevaluating. Been thinking about getting in that boat for a while. Definitely learned a lot of life lessons because somebody keeps spilling my Capricorns' cups, whatever that's about. Sitting under the old oak tree. I don't know. I don't know, Mike, if I want to get up and tie that old yellow ribbon around that old oak tree right now. I know there's a golden cup out there. But you know, this is a card of processing. All those damn spilled cups. The Six of Swords. Six Pinnacles is definitely what's needed. It's right here in the hopes position, six pinnacles. That is about equal give and take. That is about reciprocity in a relationship or lack thereof. And if you've been playing without the old river of tears there with somebody that leaves you under the old oak tree right there, then that means you have, you have not been giving equal give and take. You know, this is, and Capricorn, I mean, they always go over the top. Probably put way too much into this relationship, didn't you? Hoping, hoping that the lover right here, the one that makes your heart go boom, da -de boom, da -de boom, boom, boom. Hoping that there would be equal give and take with this relationship. I see you worn with yourself right here, Capricorn. I know, I do. What do we got right here? Well, the Ace of Swords came out. The Ace of Swords, hoorah. This is the energy for me that goes over on top of this entire spread. It's about communication. Let's just start with that. It's about a new beginning for my Capricorns. It's air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Look at that golden crown with integrity on it. <laughs> Integra what? Yeah, all those cups being spilled right there. You know, you may get on your little fire pony and go gallop off and play with the lover right here. Uh, and see if the bells really are ringing. It's definitely a card of communication. It's a sharp sword too. It's able to cut things out of your life that's no longer serving you for your highest good, my Capricorn friends. Definitely about a new beginning. Definitely turning around and picking up these two cups, or at least going to go take a look at them. Look at these two right here. Look at these two ponies. <laughs> the passion and the emotions that these two have for each other. The nine cups, the bells ringing. <laughs> but, but I mean seven of wands. There's going to be some people that ain't happy about it, but, but they've been spilling the damn cups. Get up out this tree right here. Go take a look in that cup right there. And you know, the fire pony. The fire pony is in the near future. So I think Capricorn's going to go look in that cup right there. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck with Terra Illuminati. Oh, Lord have mercy. 
nine swords, the sleepless nights, and also the wouldas, the couldas, and the shouldas, probably with the lover right there, the one that makes the heart go boom, 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 huh? Probably mirroring each other, these two lovers with the nine of swords. Probably neither one of them getting any sleep. Probably nobody getting any sleep right here. But here it is right here. Boom. Major Arcana coming off the bottom of the deck. It's the death card. It's Scorpio. May mean something to you, may not, my Capricorn friend. Now this is death to a situation. Death, birth, and resurrection for my Capricorns. Major metamorphosis. It's the story of the caterpillar that made the cocoon, went inside and died, turned to goo. I'm sure that wasn't what the caterpillar was expecting to happen. But then the divine touches the cocoon and when it opens up, you know, that butterfly comes out. It's a painful journey. Any of my Capricorn's been on that journey. That butterfly ain't never going back to being a caterpillar ever again. Hoorah. It definitely ain't going back into that cocoon ever again either. Bottom of the deck. Bottom of the deck. The high priestess wants to come in here. Now she's about being led and guided by the divine. And she will definitely help end things. Because this is Persephone's. Uh, in Greek mythology, she was uh, kidnapped and taken down to Hades and had to, you know, get her way back out. That's why the dark pillar's here and the light pillar's here. She had to go through hell to get to heaven. It made her into the high priestess. The high priestess is about following your intuition, our little birdie right there with that two wands, huh? Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter if anybody likes it or not. It's all about you and the metamorphosis that's happening, the transformation, the butterfly that's being birthed right here. High Priestess here says that these two lovers right here, this the fire pony and the, and the knight of cups, the lover pony, these two probably have, you know, there's probably been silence in the 3D between these two for a while. In the 5D, these two have been communicating, dreaming about each other and all of that. Just have to show you right here. I have the queen of love, water energy. This is cancer as well. Um, that's cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, Venus. This is the empath. I mean... Um, this is somebody pretty spiritual. You know, this could be what's happening to Capricorn. You know, because this kind of painful shit right here definitely uh, blows the filters off of the crown chakra and the heart chakra and all that stuff. I mean, welcome to 2020. It is the great year of the awakening. It's the queen of love has showed up here on this spread. And, uh, <laughs> she's the highest love card of them all. She's that agape love, that God kind of love, that unconditional love that's right here. I got the King of Wands. Fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, the King of Wands gets up and goes and gets what they want, Capricorn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the old five of Pentacles right here. There's my two soulmates. There they are. They've been out in the cold from each other. When one feels this, the other one feels it. And here comes the king of love. Wow, the king and the queen of love. The high priestess. These two have probably been in separation right now. I got to look at them right here. The fire and the water. It's probably in everybody's charts. The fire and the water showing back up here. You know, that's the great alchemist, ain't it? The blending of fire and water. Wow. And the world card. Bam. <laughs> Old cycles ending. 
news cycles coming in here from my Capricorn. It's about seeing yourself as that golden angelic being, seeing the world as your oyster, and ooh la la, here come my pearl, a great prize. Can have to do with a Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, all represented by the world cards. There's a whole new world coming in here from my Capricorn. See him looking at that world right up there on that wand. The whole new world coming in here. The magician. There's communication. Mercury. New beginnings all around. This is Gemini. Virgo. It's also Aries. Tuned in. Tapped in. Turned on to the divine. As above. So below. As within. So without. The magician. Manifesting a new beginning. The fool card. A fresh start. A leap of faith. A leap of faith. For my Capricorns right here. Got the little doggy. Look out. Look out, Capricorn. You're about to step off the love cliff. And the fool's always like, that's all right. I always land on my feet anyway. Case of raw, so raw, whatever it'll be, it'll be. Geronimo, here I go. Major Arcana. What's he jumping to? The star. Look at all these major arcanas coming off of the bottom of the deck right here. That's great hope, great faith, the potential of your dreams to become reality. My Capricorn friend shows that golden angelic being with the two cups, one pouring in the water, one pouring in the land. This is very much about some divines that have been in separation for a season. Looks to me like somebody's going to get in their chariot. There's a the dark pony and the light pony again, huh? Yeah! <laughs> this is a victory card. The victory card. Movement forward towards Ten of Pentacles. Look at these cards coming out here. Amazing. What's this? This is the power couple. It is the quintessential universal dream. The little white picket fence. The big pink house. This is all coming off the bottom of the deck. This is all going to be coming in. I'm telling you, September's reads are going to be amazing. And definitely as we come more towards the end of the year right here, when Saturn and Jupiter go back into Aquarius, oh man, hundreds of thousands of these divine unions are all going to be coming into union. There is a serious wave of divine unions coming together. And this is one of them, if this is resonating with you. And, you know, more major arcanas, the sun. Soulmate, twin flame, life partner energy. It's Leo. May mean something to you, may not. Injustice. Why not one more major arcana? The major arcanas that have come out with my reads for the second half of August have been staggering to me. Amazing. And this card is the balancing of karma between a power couple right here. The king and the queen of love. The balancing of the karma between these two so that the star can shine in their lives. It's all about following your intuition, your psychic abilities. It's all about closing a chapter, a very painful chapter, and allowing source to birth a major transformation, not only for Capricorn, but for their lover as well. Let's play with the Witch's Tarot on this amazing spread, Capricorn. Right now, you know, sitting under the old oak tree, but in the future, those were amazing. I mean, come on, man. And here it is right here. It all starts with just communication. Somebody's going to reach out and talk. Yay. And that's what I'm seeing right here. A lot of talking right now. It's beautiful. All right, love team, seven of wands and the knight of cups. Why are they in the heartbeat of the Celtic cross for Capricorn? Thank you. The world card. <laughs> Again, another major arcana. There's only 22 of them in here. You know, I, I, I could count them. Let me see, man. Uh, I, I don't know if I can count that. I, well, let me see. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, <laughs> eight, <laughs> nine, 
nine that I can see easily right there. The world card. You know, to get the world card, you have to go through all 21 steps of the major arcana. It's the last card in the majors. Man, the life lessons and all that, you know. You know, but it's about old cycles ending and new cycles coming in here from a Capricorn. Gorgeous, man. Gorgeous. Ending a cycle. A very painful cycle. Four of Cups decided it wanted to jump out right there. Four of Cups with Six of Swords. And Four of Cups right over here can say that there may be some Capricorns out there, or who's ever listening to this, that feel that um, they may have lost their opportunity. But, I mean, with this kind of energy and all these major arcanas, and again, I told you that I believe that your friend you're still ringing their bells. Because sometimes these separation periods can last for, I don't know, a while. It says get in the boat, man. Take the cup. Take the cup to them. Um... <laughs> Nine of cups, because I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you're ringing their bells. Nine of cups. Why is nine cups here? Thank you. Five swords. See? Don't surprise me with all this energy around here, you know. There is a reason why these two were in separation. I don't want to get into it. But let's stand up and do what's best for us. Huh? Let's be brave and courageous. Listen to source. And step out and be led. The worst that they could say is no thanks. I don't think they're going to. <laughs> Here we go. Five cups. Why is five cups crowning this spread? Yeah. Judgment came out. And in the uh, witch's tarot, this is called the karma card. So. This is about the balancing of karma. It's about the healing that caduceus right there of these two. Judgment is about phoenix from the ashes. It's about realizing the fact that you are creating your own reality by what you think and what you feel and what you believe. Um, if somebody's been playing with a karmic here, it's not necessarily a nasty word. It basically means that they came into your life to teach us life lessons. But if you've learned those life lessons, then you're done with that cycle. And it's time to go get this true love right here. This power couple that just showed up off the bottom of that Terra Illuminati. It's gorgeous. The judgment. I would say that these the karma between these two has been cleared. And it's time for a passionate new beginning. That's what I'm seeing here. This is absolutely gorgeous. The old fire pony right there. Why is the Knight of Wands on this spread? Capricorn. Five of Wands came out. Um, again, I see maybe my Capricorn. Somebody's concerned, you know, with the fives that are going on here, the five swords and the five wands, you know. But let the past be in the past. We got the world card twice. That means let the past be in the past. All the past is is a vibrational memory. And if we reach back there and we grab that low vibration and we bring it into our now, then we're going to bring a low vibration into our now. This is just letting go of all of this toxic energy, karma clearing between these two. Let the past be in the past and let the future unfold supernaturally. Be in the now, smell the roses, enjoy the moment. Two of Wands, please. Yeah, there it is, man. There's the offer. There he goes, right there. But 
it. You know, it's you know, it's Capricorn, huh? It's one step at a time. It, it's it's not it's not the fire pony because last time, you know, these two played, maybe the fire pony, you know, maybe it caused a lot of static, whoever the fire pony was. You know. But this time it's like, well, we're gonna take it one step at a time right here. Because this night is the only one that ever does cross the finish line. This is really a gorgeous spread, man. You know, let's take it all the way to, you know, the King of Pentacles. Because the King of Pentacles lives in the Ten of Pentacles world. One step at a time. And this catch right here. They will give you this time. Because, uh, you know, I, I see Capricorn processing too. Huh. Because... The death cycle. Justice, which means there, there wasn't justice in my Capricorn's love life. But the balancing of karma. So, you know, they want to take it one step at a time. I see it. Because, you know, maybe you've learned that the fire pony just leads to five wands. Fighting and arguing and all that mess. That's what I'm seeing right here. It's gorgeous. Like I said, man, it's going to be a whole new year. <laughs> Here we go. Four of Cups. Four of Cups, the reevaluation card. The old golden cup floating around, you know. I see it, man. Go ahead and look in that cup. Yeah, Ace of Swords. There it is. Let's fly high like an eagle. Let's use this sword right here to sever, sever anything in your past that's no longer serving you for your highest good. Let's fly high. Let's go get, let's go get all these amazing arcana right over here, huh? The sun and the star. The chariot. Let's fly high. It's about communication and definitely about releasing anything that kept you held down in the past. This is gorgeous, man. Six pinnacles, please. Why is six pinnacles here? For my Capricorn. And the King of Swords came out. Uh, it's Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. And, you know, this is, uh, it's a card of communication. It's a card of strategy. You know, he's the great strategist, huh? He's also the one that has this sword in his hand. So, I, you know, I, just that energy of anything that's not equal give and take from my Capricorns anymore. I don't think they're going to play with it with anybody. I got a king of swords right there and all this air around here. Hey, <laughs> you know, it's beautiful stuff I'm looking at. All right. Ace of swords. Why is the ace of swords here for my Capricorn? I know why, because they are slicing and dicing, man. Yeah, the wounded warrior. Been through the battle. Expecting more of the same. Got that little wall up right there. But those are wands of passion. Look, the sun is shining through. That wall right there. And the wounded warrior has the one wand in their hand. That wand of passion. Because the wounded warrior, you know, what don't kill you makes you stronger. And the wounded warrior is always like, well, one last push. Let's see if we can manifest something amazing here. Eight of Cups. Going to be walking away from something that's no longer emotionally fulfilling to you. Heading out. To, and this is Nine of Pentacles. This is my Capricorn. My independent, self-assured, confident business person right here. Single because they choose to be single. Because they're going to get the right one. Wow, the Queen of Love, the Ace of Cups. What a love story right here. And the healing of the Four of Swords. Woo! Save the best for last. It's my last read of the 12. It's gorgeous. Here we go. What do we got, Mystic Moon? Recognition. Wow, what a read, man. Union. 
the awakening, devotion, and, and there's the awakening again. Wow, 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 wow. Love card on this, please. This is gorgeous Capricorn. Happy for you. Love card, please. Free yourself. That little amazing unicorn right there is not going to stay in that little that little stable. They can jump out there anytime they want. More, please. Flirt. Extend your light hearted energy. <laughs> Gorgeous. And, and attraction. I already talked about that. It's about let the past be in the past and don't be overly focused on the future and how things need to come together, but be in the now. Smell the roses. Be in the moment. Enjoy it. You know, be in the now. It's gorgeous, man. Beautiful stuff. All right. Major Arcana on this from my Capricorns. What do you got, love team? Justice came out. The balancing of karma. And the death card. Death, birth, and resurrection from a Capricorn. Cappy, man, what an amazing spread. Amazing spread. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. Namaste, my friends. Love and light. Bye for now.